basically, I'm coming from the cinema field. I worked a lot with cinema. Uh, I had the chance of beginning my work within the old uh, uh, system with uh, film. And uh, then I practiced with vi video. And when Informatic came, I had the chance also to be part of the first beta tester of uh, uh, virtual editing. And I made my, um, my graduation work in an art school in Geneva in uh, 2000, and where I present, presented two things. The first, uh, uh, the first one was um, a feature, a little uh, feature film, and the other was a CD-ROM. And I, I, um, I wanted to make something non-linear and to work with images in an open way. And this um, grounded a bit uh, what I was uh, doing afterwards in the years 2000 from now on until now where I more and more um, was trying to experiment with an open work with images. Uh, it was with dances. I was working with uh, dance companies. Uh, I was some sort of uh, sometimes also dancing with a projector with the dancers. And to have a very organic uh, relationship to images, uh, very different to a traditional filmmaking where you spend three, three years of your time in uh, writing, filming, uh, and then editing, and three, three years after, if you're lucky, your film is there. But between your first energy, your first idea, that's Marcel Lee who was uh, getting applause because he's making exactly what I'm explaining too, because he's uh, showing something very organic and a relation uh, to images where you make something, you react, you act in, a, some, in, a, in a certain way, and the images are listening to you and changing their behavior. So did you, so did you study film school or did you move uh, right away to the field of new media? No, I, I, I studied traditional filma filmmaking, even if it's in, it was in an art school where you don't uh, get teached about how to make Hollywood films. I made some experimental film, I made some uh, animation film, some documentary work and so on, and also after some, uh, some uh, installation work. And this uh, whole process of working with images, uh, which were going more and more outside of the tra traditional cinema, uh, cinema place, more and more into the, ro to the road, back to the road, back into the everyday life. And that's where I'm today. I'm today with my two feet within the streets. And I want to work with images within our own uh, everyday context. So how does it work? Uh, I built up in 2007 um, a project which is called Walking the Edit, uh, which is perhaps a bit long to explain in 10 minutes, but um, it's basically it's a system uh, where you interact with images which are previously placed on a given space, a city, and you walk through the city and you get access to those images and you can listen to the, to the sound of the images while walking through them in real time and uh, at the same time be able to constitute an edit out of the form of your walk. So this is all possible through uh, the uh, today technology. So I'm, I moved uh, with my two feet into reality but with my two feet also into the new media and the new technologies. Mm -hmm. You walk, you go like this, like this, it changes, you edit. So it's very interactive. Uh, of course, not on one meter because you're outside and the precision of the GPS is not as precise as uh, one meter, but perhaps more of like five or ten. But in the end, it's your body, which is inter interacting with a numeric uh, digital world, which is not uh, somewhere in the cloud on the, in the States. The, the data are also surrounding us, uh, part of our everyday life, and it's a question of accessing to them and um, having an, a relationship to those data which makes sense with our own uh, scale, with our own way of dealing with our direct uh, reality. You have to use a smartphone. For the moment we use an uh, iPhone mm -hmm. because it's the uh, most convenient and most uh, easy, but in a way what you use from a smartphone is only the GPS and the fact that it's a computer. Every, everything we use today, a camera, a projector, a, a phone, is a computer. So we use the computing uh, power of this phone to get access to uh, some information about where are we, how do we move, where, come we, where do we come from, and perhaps where do we go to. And this is all computable. 
once we know all this, we can get access through the data roaming or uh, within the, the, the device. We can also embed uh, the data within the application on the device. We can get access to the documents uh, which are related to the place we are in. So the device knows where we are. The device knows what documents are around us. So the device has just, in a way, uh, the, the job to, uh, to stream to you the sound of the documents which make sense to where you come from, how, how fast you go, and uh, what is your behavior. So in a way you interact with your movies by walking and uh, in a very simple and intuitive way. So it's, it's, it seems all very complicated just now by telling you all this, but in a way the application is very simple. You have one button, button which is called start and you start recording yourself and by recording yourself you get um, a movie. Mm -hmm. I started the project in 2008 mm -hmm. and uh, we made the first public uh, presentation in 2009 and uh, there uh, it was uh, very uh, experimental and uh, it worked mechanically. We did it again in 2010 in uh, Geneva and Paris and in 2011 again in Geneva and Paris. So there are uh, already some uh, um, experimental um, playgrounds where we tested uh, the use of this application, but the application is not yet on the App Store because Apple is still, uh, Apple has all, all powers, all power about it, and they want us to change some little technical details before the application can be uh, on the App Store and usable by anybody. But the question is, you can use it, and it makes sense if you are in the space where there is some data. And the question is, how to produce or better to place produced data on a space and there we are in the in the in the currently we are developing a tool which lets any content producer maybe a television or tourism uh, or a cultural institu institution to uh, place images onto a given space which is their space and let people access to this augmented space within their own rules because for the moment, uh, it's only the town of Geneva, of Paris, of Marseille, Biarritz are a few towns in the world where it's possible to experiment the system. Here in Prague, for example, there are a lot of images which are surrounding us, but there are images which have, um, uh, which uh, there are not a lot, that's one problem. And the other, uh, the other problem, those images exist only as images and do not have uh, the essential metadata which we need to find them, sort them, and give them in a, in a way that makes sense, uh, in, a, in a narrative sense, to the person who gets those images. That's the essential point. It's uh, to, to get access to images. Uh, the machine, the, the computer, needs to know more about what is within and what the human gets out of those images. That's some uh, data, metadata we have to create on the data in order to make it's all uh, doable. Mm -hmm. Everything is uh, happening within the cloud. So for the moment, it's mobile phones, which are accessing that, but that can be tablets, that can be mobile computer, it can be anything, which is a computer. You can also say uh, you use a camera to <coughs> film things, not only based on the choice of the cameraman, but also based on what is in the air, um, say Twitter feeds, whatever. That means you can be, um, um, you can be in interaction with a real space by creating something. Uh, that's the today way of making things because it's a, uh, it's a concrete world which is driving us. But the data world which is also around us gives us access to other dimensions of, of this real world which are uh, uh, past. We, ha we have access to the past. We have access to levels of information we cannot get out of the reality. Um, Maybe uh, open data sensors of uh, I know how, how cold it is outside or how many people are there um, and so on. And this, all, all those information can help us to finally get an interaction with this space which makes sense to where we come from and what we need from this space and how we want to interact with this space. It's about linking together and linking together stories made out of pictures with places and people. 
And after uh, those, which was created out of all that, can be used out of a community. You can share your film you worked within Facebook or whatever. You can, you can, uh, all this is given back to the community. And you can have an access to the p films of others, to the pictures of others. You can contribute with your own movies. And you can also say, for example, you can invite people into a cinema and say, you will see a film. This film doesn't exist before you see the images because the editor is outside and just running and walking and whatever the film out of the, uh, uh, dynamically, out of the database which is outside and the images are streamed in real time to the screen and the film is happening while the editor is walking, performing the film. Mm -hmm. And that's a community kind of, a performative kind of uh, interaction and, and event but it's basically out of the same structure and the same logic. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, it seems that you partly stay <coughs> your film field, like that you're using this narrative uh, mm -hmm. methods, and, uh, but you're use, applying them on a mobile phone applications. No? Yeah, for, for me, the mobile phone, which is a, a little um, piece of soap or something, it's a, it's a, it's a, a device, um, in a way, it, it, it remembers me of uh, the beginning of cinema. The beginning of c cinema, uh, the, the cameras were made of wood and metal and, and you put some celluloid in it and some light came in and uh, made some, created some images. And uh, after you just changed the logic, you put a, 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 a light within the box and the light came through the images and projected those images on the screen. So in a way, it's one box with to take to write and to read. And this thing is exactly the same. You can write and read. So it's all about that, to be able to read things out of a space, write something back to the space, and what you write back to the space can be read by other people, and so on. So it's, uh, it's like a pen. Mm -hmm. But you're in the, in, the, in the position to read out, to get something. What you do, you will get something. And what you get, will be placed back to where you take it from. So it's a, a cycles.